Parkinsonism is a common movement disorder that involves dysfunction of basal ganglia and caused by deficiency of dopamine. Classification of the drugs used in this disease can be memorized by mamudp.com. That stands for MAO inhibitor, muscarinic agonist, dopamine precursor, dopamine agonist, COMT inhibitor. Dopamine cannot be used directly as a dopamine precursor because it does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Let's talk about their mechanism of action one by one. Firstly, mechanism of action of dopamine precursor and dopamine agonist. Instead of dopamine, we used levodopa as a dopamine precursor because it readily passed through the blood-brain barrier through L amino acid transporter. You can see in this animation the levodopa is entering from the periphery to the brain through L amino acid transporter. After entering the brain, the levodopa is converted into dopamine by dopa decarboxylase enzyme. After formation of dopamine, the dopamine gets attached to the dopamine receptor and stimulate its inhibitory effect. On the other hand, dopamine agonist, the bromocryptine, can be used as individual drug in the patient who cannot tolerate levodopa. Mechanism of action of dopamine agonist is quite simple. It simply binds to the dopamine receptor and stimulates its inhibitory effect. Levodopa is given with carbidopa, the drug that does not cross blood-brain barrier but inhibits dopa decarboxylase in peripheral tissues. You can see that levodopa can be converted to dopamine by dopa decarboxylase enzyme and causes peripheral adverse effect. But with combination of carbidopa, it does not let this happen and hence prolong half-life of levodopa. Hence, you will need lower dose of levodopa in combination with carbidopa. Now, let's talk about the mechanism of action of COMT inhibitor and MAO inhibitor. After entrance of levodopa to the brain and its conversion to dopamine, Dopamine can be converted into 3-MT by COMT enzyme but tolcapone a COMT inhibitor inhibit the COMT enzyme to limit these reactions and increase the half-life of dopamine. Dopamine can also be converted to dihydroxyphenyl lactic acid by MAOP enzyme but selagilin a MAO inhibitor inhibits this reaction to increase the half-life of dopamine. In this way, the uninterrupted dopamine get attached to the dopamine receptor and stimulate its inhibitory activity. That was all about Parkinson's disease drugs. Hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my next videos.